Hiya, welcome back. Okay, by now you should have all your petals folded and glued. So I want eight big ones. I'm doing a multicoloured one this time, so I've, I've just done multicoloured petals and plain green for the small ones. Okay, I'm just going to put them aside a minute because we actually need something for it to sit on. Um, so, green piece, just don't be cardstock, it doesn't have to be any particular size, as long as you can fit something round on it to draw around, uh, then you're fine. Okay, so it doesn't have to be any size, just as long as you've got something, you know, round, a lid, something, you know, this is quite big, this one actually, because of the uh, just so you can see them I believe so if you do this then draw around this circle yeah so like so okay now you're gonna cut that circle out just move that over there. So you're gonna cut that circle out and if you're anything like me just rubbish at cutting and um, full stop I always manage to rather miss the lines or go too small into the lines and I'm certainly not very good at doing circles either <laughs> but unfortunately it's needed for this process so put this circle out last little bit there we go right so you're left with your circles rubbish put them down so you're left with your circle once you've uh, rounded and cut it out okay so what we're going to do is we're going to fold the circle in half um, like so right I'm going to use a, a bone folder if you have one um, if not you know the edge of a ruler is just as good uh, just be careful you don't uh, you rip into the card or anything like that or anything that you you know uh, if you've got a knife the, the egg side of the knife uh, and just give it a a good crease because we, we actually need these creases uh, as a guard line when we're putting the petals on okay so quick recap we've cut the circle out we've folded it in half so we'll go ahead and fold it in half again like so and make a crease you now it just looks like a giant cone then we're going to fold it in half again okay so in all. So we end up with a cone like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut to make a leaf but uh, these are uh, just ones that I made earlier. I was going to make a, a lily pond um, but it's basically the same process but this one stays together obviously. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a leaf. Now I'm not very good at cutting um, leaves or anything like that really so we're just gonna um, I mean if you've got, if you've got anything uh, around about the house or anything that you know it looks like a leaf then you could probably you know do it from there uh, draw on that pattern and then cut it from there Like I said, I'm not very good at cutting leaves, but I've, I've done that basically. So when you open it up, be careful when you open it up as well. You don't want to be uh, ripping the leaves at this stage. When you open it up, you'll end up with something like this. Um, obviously, you, can, you don't have to have these straight. You can make it into, you know, more, more uh, curvy, so it comes to a point at the top. It's just I'm not very good at doing leaves. <laughs> okay, so um, now remember we did our creases to keep the guard lines for this. So what you do is you take your first big one, and I'm just gonna glue down one of these creases here. So you got when you look at the um, actual leaf for the bottom, you should have um, four creases. 
you'll see a main one going across which is where we did it in half so I'm just gonna where we did it in half I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on there okay and you do it up this side up and just place it in between if you can see that there in between the leaves okay there we go so in between the leaves okay and do the the same with the rest of them basically they just go in between the leaves on all of them obviously you know um make sure you get it right you know because obviously if you get it wrong they're not going to look as good so make sure you get it in between the in the leaves there okay i'm going to carry on doing that just another another one there like so I was then um, going to actually uh, pause the video here while I did this but I uh, I thought it's pointless really because it's only it, you know it's only uh, it's only eight cones, <laughs> you know. But um, that's all you do is just, just you just put them all in between the leaves, yeah. Um, you, as well, you don't have to use a glue gun. If you don't want to use a glue gun, it's a little bit messy for you. Don't use one. Um, you just you can use uh, like I say, PVA glue, or um, you know, not that jumbo glue stick. Yeah, you can use them. The reason I, like I said earlier, the reason I use uh, hot glue is because it dries quicker. Um, you know, so it gets the job done uh, a bit. It is a little bit fiddly, but it gets the job done. So that's why I like to use hot glue. Okay, and remember, you know, go from the centre. Make sure all the your uh, petals are lined up in the centre as well. It doesn't make much difference uh, because you've been putting something in there anyway, no doubt. Uh, beads or like I did, I just cut a, a little bit of my cardstock and, and um, you know, did it like that and then to put a flower in the middle. Okay, so once you've done that, then you should end up with something like this. Can you see that there? All the big ones are in between the green petals okay then what you do is you get your little ones and your little ones go in between your big ones to the middle like so so what I did is I put a good amount of glue in this middle like so in between the flowers there and then what I did is I just put my little ones in between on top but kind of in between can you see that what I've done there in between on top but in between and you just do that all the way around this is a lot easier because I have the, the glue already there that's not good, is it? Excuse me, my son's just come in and annoyed me, as usual. <laughs> I do apologise. Okay, so just keep putting them in, in the middle, like so. I've actually got one extra here, I don't know I've managed that. There you go. It's actually a big one, I don't know I've managed to get that. So, when you finish putting them all in, you end up with this okay so like I say you just put the big ones around the outside in between the leaves and then the smaller ones in between last one there just put a little bit more glue on there if you wanted to as well I because you'll be putting something in the middle of your flower in the middle of there because it was uh, just to hide the the bits there what I did was I put a lump of glue in the middle 
just so it kept all the little ones together you know so when it dries it, it dries you're not going to see that anyway you should have put something in the middle like so okay now what I did is um, put that aside for a minute what I did is I got a strip of paper it doesn't really matter how big it is as long as it's uh, uh, you know not really uh, massive because it, then it's going to look silly but what I did is I got a piece of paper a strip of paper and I uh, folded it in half I'll give you the uh, measurement for this this one that I'm using okay this is um, just over 14 and a half centimetres um, by two and a bit centimetres you know I, I don't think it really matters as long as you know so I'm gonna what I did is I folded it in half probably you know people will know how to do these but I folded it in half and what I did is I got my scissors and I cut don't, no, don't cut to the very top so it cuts off um, you know just cut like so all the way along it's a, a little bit I think they call it a fringe I'm not really sure I think they call it a fringe but just click click just cut what did it today just cut till you get that um, and then I'm not very good at anything like this but I usually get a paintbrush it's quite thin um, and I put it on there and I roll it onto the you've got to be careful because with you cutting now it, it's not very straight so it doesn't roll very well but like man's not doing now doing anything ok well, let's try this side um, it's a bit of trial and error there we go but if we fold it on there you can always it's only to start it off and then if you go it in between your, your finger and your thumb and just roll it up there and when you get to the end just put a, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this end after I've straightened it up a bit of glue and then just roll that on so you end up with something like this then what I did is just flicked flicked about you know, just randomly put my finger in and just went like this and flicked them out then I put this a little bit more glue obviously and I put it in the middle that one this one's actually a little just a little bit too big um, but uh, no, that's easily remedied. Just fold it again. Just give it a bit of an outer. I'm just going to put a bit of glue in there and just pop that in the middle. Now, what you can do is if you can get your fingers in between there and just so you can just push it down and push it out at the same time as well so it gives it a bit more you know a bit more to it and then just put them up when you when you're done and there you go there's your middle bit and also you can put I suppose you could put flowers in there I, I did do I I actually put a flower I think it was in the small one yes I did I had a, a little pink flower and I uh, took the uh, coming packs of with green on gr green leaves and I took the green leaves off and just put it in the middle like so uh, and I don't think I did oh I did with this one as well yeah I put a, a purple one in the middle okay so that's your small one done okay and um, I'll come back with the uh, the big leaf and I'll show you how to do the big leaf on top of that Okay, I'll see you in a bit.